Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? just went out. Let's see if we get this one in. Let's let it <clears throat> burn a little bit longer so when the air hits it, it won't go out. We have a ladybug crawling around on the table over here too. Alright, that one stayed on. We do the little ladybug right over here on the other side of the amethyst. I might even crawl in here in a little bit. Okay. Well, that might have been an omen for some of you. Um, beginning of this reading. This is our new moon in Pisces, 20 degrees. All right, and that is on March 10th, 2024 at 1 a.m. And when I was looking up the time, pretty much every website had a little bit different uh, answers. So <laughs> I'm really hoping it is 1 a.m. Pacific time. All right, Pisces is um, the dates of February 19th to March 20th. It is a water sign. They are emotional due to the water, the ebbs and the flows, with the tide, your high, your low. And we are also going to be doing a time change here in California. And we are springing forward. So we are losing an hour sleep. <laughs> okay, and new moons are about rejuvenation and manifestation. Okay, and interesting, the new moon is also the start of the Libra lunar eclipse at five degrees on March 25th. It'll be seen in the Americas. It's end of a new, uh, it's the end of a chapter. Uh, eclipse. Right, so right now we're bringing things in. We're rejuvenating our body. We're manifesting what we want. What is it we're dreaming of? Dear Pisces. What are your desires? And how do you, <clears throat> excuse me, 
And how do you express those desires? Do you choke like me? Are you able to speak clearly and competently? Okay, so I did put together my own little spread for this. And when I first made it, it was really complicated. Um, I had to narrow it down quite a bit and I haven't even tested it. So we're just gonna go with it. Um, I definitely narrowed it down a lot though. And we'll see how, um, how it reads. Let's get a little bit of sound healing here, cleansing. Thank you for being here at One Who Seeks. I want to invite all that is loving to be here with us as a collective to guide us for our highest good and for the good of others on this special new moon in Pisces. What are we manifesting? What are our hopes, our dreams, our desires, our needs? And how do we express that to the world? Okay. And so we're also in Venus right now with this new moon. And that's all about love, the goddess of love. Here we have our little, our little friend. It's our ladybug making his debut or her debut, walking across the moon, your soul, Pisces, I believe, and Venus, love. So with the two here, we have <clears throat> union duality, balance. Six, it's about harmony, vibration, what you're sending out into the universe. What do you believe in? And Venus, love, four, it's about foundation. Goddess of love. You know, Pisces is very loving, very emotional. They love to love, they love to help others. They'll be there for you. I see that Pisces has a lot of creativity and imagination. They have good natural instincts. They can feel their intuition, that sixth sense. I see dead people. Very psychic abilities. They're very compassionate souls. Empathic almost. But you don't want to um, give a Pisces ultimatums or threats. They don't like being pushed out of their comfort zone. 
They have a lot of mood swings and they will withdraw. They don't like confrontation. They will run away from confrontation. They, they like peace and love. I found that the fishes have to do with Venus and Mars relating to Aphrodite's birth. So this is um, this is Aphrodite, goddess Aphrodite, goddess of love. Lust, pleasure, sex. And the Venus and the Mars, and it has a lot to do with your needs, your desires, and your behaviors. And understanding the opposite sex. And how to communicate. So the birthstone of Pisces is aquamarine. And it says, go with the flow. And also amethyst, depending on what your actual date is, trust your intuition. I have a lot of amethyst here on the table. I don't have any aquamarine, otherwise it would be here. Uh, I did pull these other stones here. And we have lemon jade, which is for uplifting. And we have moss agate for growth and unakite for harmony and then we have our selenite candle here for, uh, for clearing to be an open channel for messages coming through from spirit those of only good energies and good intentions help guide you on your path. And Pisces, right now is a good time to meditate and contemplate. With this new moon coming in, what is it you desire? Meditate on it. Still the mind. And figure out what you truly desire and don't settle for anything else. Okay. All right. Well, let's try the new spread. Here's my little ladybug. Uh, and I don't see any spots. You don't have any spots. Any bug with no spots. Alright, don't get underneath my cards. So, I mean, that could mean something to someone. Something about there being no spots. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's like a, whoa, a parking spot. Whoa. Um,. For a spot to sit. So the higher front jumped out. So this is represents you. Okay. So I have my little spread here that I made. And we'll see how it works. Um, so that is you there. And you are somebody who is highly spiritual. Um, definitely believes in signs like this, signs like that, with the candle not staying lit as I dropped it in. Uh, this little guy just wants to crawl around here and be on the camera. So you're someone who's in touch with the, a lot of different religions. You're not 
necessarily um, tied down to one. You're just kind of all of them, right? They all have the same underlying energies of love. That's basically what it comes down to. You know, everything just comes down to love. Loving thy neighbor, loving thyself. Yeah, don't don't be greedy. Don't be gluttonous. Um, do well unto others. Do not cover your neighbor's wife. You know, I don't, just things that will have consequences, right? In a negative way. But I kind of got sidetracked there, but I, it's about all, all loving um, and not choosing sides and not segregating into these groups, but just being spiritual and having peace. May even be a teacher or a priest of some sort. Teaching about spirituality. There are lessons there. It's about commitments. Things you say you're going to do. That you're going to go to church. That maybe you decide you don't want to at last minute. You know, maybe your church is in your home and you don't necessarily need to go to another building somewhere to practice your spirituality because it's in your heart. And you have a lot of knowing and knowledge and you're very at peace. You're very calm, just relaxed in like a meditative state. You could even be like staring at this candle flame to meditate. Kind of look like you're in a daze a little bit though. Like you're staring off into space. Maybe that's you manifesting, thinking about what your needs and your desires are. based off of the knowledge that you have of how to be a good human, decent human being on this planet, by serving others, you serve yourself. Okay, and then over here you have them. This is another person. And I chose to do this part in the spread and have another person because we do have Aphrodite here with Venus and love. So as you should always love yourself first, I want to know about this other person. That you could be sharing some of your desires with. And this person is very bright and colorful, very intriguing, kind of hypnotizing because it's so beautiful and it's sparkling. There's like red rubies up on here, beautiful flowers. We got every bubbles. This person makes you feel like this, like so giddy and just like Free. Like you can protect yourself because you're a dragon and you have the sword. 
Wow, this is a wand, but this looks like a sword. Interesting. Definitely saw it as a sword, uh, looking like this may be sitting on top of that portion, you know, to protect your hand on the sword. But this is like beautiful yard art that you have planted in the ground. And somebody's blowing bubbles around here. This could be a child. This could be an artist. This could be uh, somebody who likes to garden. Somebody who um, is a jeweler. Maybe you create jewelry. They create jewelry. Like rare, beautiful gemstones. This person has a lot of joy, has a lot of brightness in your life. They are the diamond in the rough. And you proudly display them. Very proud of this person. So I want to talk about um, what your comfort zone is. You know, do you like, are you like more of a hermit? Do you recharge by spending time alone? Are you um, more outgoing? Do you like to talk to a lot of people, strangers on the road, on the street, in the restaurants? Uh, what is your comfort zone? It doesn't necessarily have to be something that's healthy for you. Um, Cause I definitely think that we get comfortable in environments that we're used to. And if you're used to any kind of abuse, um, it can feel comfortable sometimes it's not it's not comfortable and it's comfortable at the same time and if you haven't experienced it i'm really happy for you and that's awesome and great um and if you have i'm so sorry Where do we get comfortable? We are humans and we are highly adaptable very quickly. So even toxic things like overeating or over drinking, cheating, things like that can become comfort zones. It's like a coping me mechanism, me method, coping method. All right, so what is your comfort zone? Ace of Cups. Wow. All right. Well, this is a very emotional card. And here we have the water lily, which is so funny because it's the picture I printed out here for you, Pisces. This is the water lily, which is the birth flower of Pisces. And here we literally have the cup sitting on the water lily on the pad. It's probably sitting on the pad. It's probably not on the actual lily. But 
uh, I see this as like foundation of your emotions. You have an overpouring of emotions here. It's even like overpouring here at the top of the cards. And dragonflies are like ancestors coming back, dead love, um, dead loved ones visiting you. And pussy willows in the back. <laughs> Such a funny word, pussy willow. And this water lily actually has drops of water on it. It is dripping from this cup. I feel like maybe you're sweating a little bit. Um, <laughs> or you're spilling, right? Maybe you're drinking too much. There's an overabundance of this liquid here. And uh, somebody's trying to tell you to be careful. Your ancestors, maybe it's um, something that's been passed down in your, your life, like I was saying um, before. There's alcoholism in the family and it's been passed down from generations. And this beautiful blooming flower, which was you, just blooming, just becoming aware of the world, you know, growing, becoming from a baby to a child, to a teenager, growing. Yeah, they're not quite this tall yet. They're still kind of sitting on the pad. They still have the foundation of home. Right, maybe this is you're really comfortable at home with your parents or something. And it's time for you to move out. Like, you know, they keep telling you. Right? Because I was getting that this could possibly be a child. Maybe your child needs to go, keep moving, <laughs> you know, for them to grow. Or there is a drinking issue, right? And maybe this is why this person looks like they are so magical, right? Because when you drink, Things are more fun and uh, accentuated and, you know, things get blown out of proportion pretty quickly. If you've been drinking a lot and somebody says the wrong thing or looks at you wrong or something, you never know what's going to set you off. Because when you're drinking, you know, they call it spirits because the spirits take over. They take over your body. They take over your consciousness. They are in charge when you drink. They're making the decisions. And you're just praying for your family. So maybe you have an addiction that you need to deal with because that's your comfort zone, it's your go-to. And you have a bad day, you have a drink when you get home or too many, or too much in one drink. Trying to fold the system. I only had one drink, but you know, drank a whole bottle, but you know, you drank it from the bottle, so technically it was just the one drink. Fooling yourself. All right, what is your desire? Five of Cups. 
And we have the, um, the lilies again, the water lilies. Okay, these are your desires. These are the things that you are thinking about. You want to fill these cups. All these cups. There's three of them here in the water. This is about making the change. You know, these are emotional. Pisces, water sign, about emotions. Maybe you desire to have some help. If you're feeling all alone here, you look like you've been crying, right? You're crying because you drank all these and now you don't feel very good. And uh, maybe you have some influences around you who are kind of pushing it in your face and it's hard to get out of. It's hard to not drink when other people around you are drinking, right? You have like your, your peer pressure <laughs> from these fairies telling you here, have another, but you already don't feel good. This isn't helping. Or maybe you have an offer from the other side that you just don't see because you're crying over this. Like if your parents are telling you, get out, time for you to go. Be your own person, you know, stand in your own. But maybe there's something waiting for you that you don't know about and you're not gonna know about it unless you turn around. We have the truth about what needs to be spoken. So, what is your truth that needs to be spoken right now? Somebody's coming in. There's definitely an offering. Somebody's coming towards you with uh, some sort of a romantic gesture. This could be marriage. This could be an engagement. This could just be like a date. Maybe it's the first date. This guy is very magical on his unicorn with all these roses. And he's walking towards you. He's already in this pond. Maybe he's behind you here because it's grassy on that side and it's rocky over here. Yeah, and this, these are part of the fairies that came along with him. They're like, I am here. This could be like your twin flame. You know, you've been dreaming about them. You've been desiring them. You've been, you know, having dreams, visions, signs, synchronicities, symbols. Um that this person is here, but you're still so torn. You're still very sad. And you don't even realize that he's like right behind you. All right, so, and we do have phases of the moon here. And this is a full moon, so. And we're in the new moon. Maybe in the next couple of weeks, 
this person to be coming towards you. So this is the truth that needs to be spoken. Um, so really this is about you speaking up and saying what's wrong. And you are waiting for this person. You're sad. This person is not there. Maybe you're drinking too much because of that. Maybe they went away. This could be somebody you already know. This is how you see them. Has like totally Prince Charming, beautiful and colorful and shiny. And romantic. He's a knight. Protect you strong I don't know where this person is I don't know if you've met this person yet or not this could just be a dream this could be somebody that's actually in your life and you have roots with like you have a home maybe you share a home with them this is your garden Maybe they are gone somewhere. Maybe they're at rehab. Maybe you were drinking too much together. You know, and you're trying to quit now. Maybe. You know, you had some sort of a fight because you drank too much. And this is the apology that you're waiting for. Whatever this pol apology is, okay. what is this apology about? Or let's just ask, what is the Nine of Cups about? This is Four of Wands. This is marriage. The marriage card. This is eleven eleven. So this is probably your husband or your fiance. They are coming towards you. Maybe they were just gone on a trip and they're coming back. Okay. And why are you crying in this Five of Cups? And this is the Six of Cups. Wow. Cups, Knight of Cups, too. Holy cow. Yeah, very emotional. You're very emotional about this. You miss playing together. Maybe you have children together. Maybe you've known this person since you were a child. Maybe you dated this person back in high school or college or at some other point in your life when you were younger and you used to play together and you have a deep love for this person. You were really good friends. You ended up getting married. Where is this other person right now? This is like gone, just gone. <laughs> so this is very fast moving. Maybe something happened and they're just gone. Um, could have been a breakup. Maybe this person passed. And you're drinking a lot because of it. You have this memorial for them at a church.
Eight's about manifestation. And wands are fast movement, which is almost like a manifestation. Like if you think of Harry Potter or something um, with wands and how like you can tra uh, transport yourself from one place to another with like a snap of a finger or bippity boppity boo, right? Um, well, it's Cinderella, but <laughs> you know, wands have magical powers. And it's very quick, it's magical. Maybe they just got a, um, a job offer somewhere, something that they were passionate about. Cause this is about fire. This is the fire element. This is about passions. But you know, he's out on his horse and he's tending to the land. Maybe he's like a, a, a farmer or a rancher thinking like cattle rancher or something and you're just missing them you want them to be back home so you guys can play in the yard together you can hang out together When will he be back? Hmm, devil, huh? Wow. This is about freedom. Becoming un unleashed from the beast. Yeah, maybe you guys are fighting right now. You both look like you're in angst here. Well, you might not physically be gone. You might still be here, still here on the land, but you guys are just fighting, having an argument about something. What is it you're arguing about? Because you were drinking too much, probably. Somebody was drinking too much. Now you're reminiscing and you're sad because you, you want this connection back. You don't want to fight anymore. You know, just being bullheaded. Just going to say that they're sorry first because something needs to be done. We have the, the serpent snake here eating itself. It's uh, endings and new beginnings. Maybe an argument about something. But you need to apologize. So you can have a new beginning. And you can build your, your memories, you know, with each other because you are married. Doesn't it feel like you live on the farm? You live on some land, you have some land with your husband or wife. Yeah, when I, I'm just speaking about the genders that are in the cards. I'm not saying whether it's feminine or masculine energy necessarily. you can better communicate your desires to this other person. Okay, and I'm doing three cards just for this because it is about communication and what you desire. And it gets complicated. Just like making my spread. It shouldn't be that complicated, but it was. It was very complicated. 
I had a lot of cards on the table. They wouldn't have a fit on here at all. It was like 13 cards or something. 12, 13 cards. <laughs> it was out of control. So we narrowed it down to eight, which is about manifestation. And that's what we're doing in this new moon. Okay. Ooh, it's very orange and red, very bright and vibrant. I feel like you both are being pretty stubborn, right? Get your shields up, you're fighting. Come at me. <laughs> You know, that's this here again. This one's the eight. That was the seven, but we have all these wands. All these wands. These ones aren't lit on fire, though. And you're standing here like, I'm right. I know I'm right. I've got my crystal ball. I can see the future. I know I'm right. I'm going to stand my ground. Here's your crystal ball, <laughs> right? I'll bring it over to you so you can see my perspective. You can see the answers here. <laughs> you got two birds here. It might even be the same bird. Maybe that's the ball here. This is, might be the same person. So you need to put down your shield. Put down your shield. You see I'm pushing it down. Do his sacral chakra. Gut feeling. Standing my ground. Because I know. I know. I just need you to see my point of view. Can I send you a message? And I will send you one back. This is interesting. So this bird here has a wand that looks very similar to this. It's it looks purple here. And it doesn't have the ornate stem. But it's got like the same diamond shape at the top. Who represents this other person this represents that other person so this is that same bird this person is giving to you I feel like you're the one who's being stubborn you both are being stubborn here I feel like you're all knowing this person's all knowing. All right, and this person is this. But you also have the dragon here. So maybe that wand doesn't really mean much here because you do have the same dragon. It looks a little bigger here. Got so puffed out because you were so angry. I right, think like this is your two sides. Like you can be all sugar and spice, but you can be a lot of not everything nice here when you're angry. All right, and then you're the all knowing one. <laughs> this person's very angry that you are all knowing.
This is like your surrender. All right. You definitely need to apologize. <laughs> you guys just need to apologize. You have a beautiful love together. You need to stop fighting. You need to stop hiding. And let's discuss this. Show me what you got. I'll show you what I got. Let's trade. Let's look at each other's perspectives. We got, it looks like a sunset there. Maybe this is like, sunrise, you know, it could be the middle of the night. I guess this glow here is just from the candle. This is like midnight, this is sunset, this is romantic yeah, sunset. There's definitely a lot of romance here. Love spells. You gotta be careful with what the words that you say, right? This is like devil energy. When you're passionate and you're feeling fiery and you're just so angry. You gotta be careful what you say. You end up here. You end up here crying. Okay, you both need to stand and face each other. Come together, stare at each other in the eyes, come together, exchange your messages, look at the crystal ball for what it has to say, because it's going to be, um, it's going to show both sides. It's going to show the full story. All right, anytime anybody tells a story, it's only one person's side of the story. It's never the full story. That's why you have several different books about one thing, and it's because it's different perspectives from different people. Look at each other's perspectives. Where's your empress? She's over here crying. <laughs> I don't know why you're mad at me. Let me offer you this gift. Remember when I gave that to you, right? This is from our garden. This is a reminder of our love that we've had for a while since childhood. We're married. We may even have children. All right, you just need to stand face each other. Talk it out. Tell each other what you desire. So you can stop being so sad. Get out of that comfort zone. See the truth. All right, we have new moon in Aquarius. Open up to change. All right, it's your apology. New moon in Pisces. Okay, so that's what we're in right now. Attuned to the divine. Okay, and then we have the Hierophant. All right, that's you. So go with your gut feeling. Right? 
the spirits speaking to you through your intuition, which is your gut feeling. Okay, really look into how you feel about this situation. And be open up to change. Full moon in Virgo, take inspired action. Okay. So maybe you guys will come back together by the full moon in Virgo. We just had, I believe, a full moon in Virgo. So maybe that's when the fight started. Okay, it's time to take action. It's been way too long. You guys have been fighting. Oh my goodness. Lots of jumpers. Okay. Energy field adjustment or cleansing and health. We have that crystal ball again. You look into it. Change your, your attitude, your energy, right? Stop fighting. The present gift treasure. Revelation of own value. Nowness. Do it now. Take inspired action. All right, this love is a gift. It's a treasure. Okay. The revelation of your own value. Right, the argument. If you don't win this argument, does it affect your value? You need to apologize now. Air. <laughs> oh, I love it. And then we have the lovers embracing and um, a beautiful underwater kiss. Breathing deep, entering into life, exchange of life bringing energies. Right? As soon as you apologize, you're going to have this back. Beautiful. All right, so you just have to deal with your emotions and you need to face them. Face this person that you love and desire and just think is so beautiful in every way. You have the separation right now because you're being stubborn need to see another point of view, see both sides, be open to it. This is your husband, this is your wife. Embrace each other, apologize, romance. Eight, manifestation. Okay, and then we have the restorers. Right, restoring this relationship. Restoring communication. Right, maybe um, he's out working out in the fields. This is your house here. You're inside and you're, you're making your herbs. This is very healing. You're watching him work outside. You were, you're hoping for that healing. You want to offer this healing to your husband after he comes in from a hard day's work. All right. And you're just watching in admiration. 
All right, let's see what this one has to say with the restorers. I almost never read out of the books because I have such a hard time reading. So this one's a little different though. Uh, getting there. <laughs> no. Wow. Okay. There we go. Just about right when I was about to give up. <laughs> I found it. Right? Don't give up on your relationship. All right. Rose root, St. John's wort, and valerian. Okay. This is about retreat, balance, and calm. If it was in reverse, it would be about imbalance, anxiety, and disturbance, right? And this is exactly what this is because you're fighting. You have so much anxiety and you're imbalanced right now. And your desire is to become imbalanced and retreat, right? Bring closure to this because it's been going on for a while. All right, um, the restorers are a, tri a trio of ancient and indigenous, indigenous, geez, plants of the druid source lands, which acts to restore the balance between body and soul, healing the heart and the mind with their calming and strengthening powers. Rose root is found in the mountainous regions of Wales and Scotland and on coastal cliffs in the northwest of Britain. Valerian can be seen throughout the countryside in moist ground and ditches and on riverbanks and wet meadowland. While St. John's Wort prefers dry woodland and meadows, which kind of looks more like where you're living. Well, this one's a little bit more wet, but some of these are just very flat land um, the card shows a druid healer in her boothy sitting beside the fire. The, the do open door, we see the Scottish Highlands. Rose root and valerian hung drying in bunches from the rafters. And freshly gathered St. John's wort lies on the table. And that's St. John's wort. Okay. I saw these flowers the other day on Vine or something, and I was wondering what they were. They looked really cool. Okay, I'm going to stop reading because I just can't. I don't know. It's like some sort of a blockage, right? Between me trying to say what I see. You need to open up your throat chakra so that you can get this out. Just that energy field. All right. Well, things that you can do in the meantime. Um, I absolutely love this. Uh, and you're very creative, Pisces. So if you do anything that has to do with art, photography, uh, making music, playing music and singing, um, that will really help calm you down. You know, here you're mixing your herbs. Maybe that's something that's created for you. Um, and to restore your energy, right? We got the restorers. 
and restore this relationship, I recommend Seafoam Green. Okay, that's gonna be your color. I would seek that out. Um, it's kind of like this color up in here. And this is, um, Pisces is the 12th and final astrological sign out of 12. Um, <laughs> And so you're the dreamer, the creative, and the artist. So really stick with um, doing something creative to, you know, kind of calm yourself down, get your mind off of what's going on here, and don't drink so much. Um, you do already have an overflow of emotions going on. And when you drink, it doesn't help the situation, right? So this is why we only have one candle now. This one went out because this person is not talking to you or took off for a time because this fight was so big and you're just left here burning. Right, and I wanted to share some of Aphrodite's symbols. So if you do see any symbols, which is the goddess of love, uh, if you see these symbols, it's going to represent your love, right? And your communication with this person that you love. So maybe some of these things can be used as your gift to present when you apologize. Um, seashells, myrtles. I think that's what it was. I was looking at myrtles and it looked like the St. John's wort. I'll have to relook at that again. Interesting. All right, roses, doves, sparrows and swans I wonder if these are sparrows I don't know those look more like crows or something all right so dig the roots deep in the mud and rise with beauty because you are the water lily okay speak your truth follow your intuition all right, you need to lighten the load. Move towards something that works. Okay, you had to go through this. That you know, you have like this deeper inner knowing that it's bigger than you, right? It's that gut feeling, it's that inner knowing with all these crystal balls, you just know that you can feel it. There's something that's gonna come out on the other side on the other side, the new beginning, so beautiful because of this horrible thing that happened, this horrible fight, whatever it may be about. Well, that was a beautiful reading. I'm glad that my spread actually um, worked out. <laughs> I think we got a lot of information out of this. Um, I will probably share this spread on Facebook or something. I'll figure out how I can post it. Because um, I don't know how to do that in the YouTube. But... This was a beautiful reading, even though it feels, you know, this is a big fight. This is big energy, but it's going to come out bright, beautiful, in the present, right? This apology is coming. You either need to apologize or they need to apologize. It's very romantic. Lots of love here. Twin flame energy. You know, and let's bring that love back in 
this new moon and let's manifest the desires. Right? Let's embrace it. All right. Thank you for being here with me at One Who Seeks. I thank you and the angels for being here. And as always, please share, like, and subscribe to help my channel, to help me out. Um, the more you share, the more it gets out there, and the more that it helps me. So, uh, thank you for bringing your beautiful energy, and I will see you on the next reading. Bye. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.